Uh, we're here in Paris to launch our newest member of our EQ family, the EQE SUV. It is now the fourth vehicle on our all-electric architecture that's been dedicated to engineer an electric vehicle from the ground up, and it's got fantastic range. All the technology that you already know from the EQS, which is our flagship vehicle, and wrapped in a beautiful package. So this is really at the center of where, where many customers are looking for a Mercedes, and we think it's, uh, it's going to be, see strong, strong demand across the world. Interestingly, you're not presenting this car at the Paris Motor Show, even though we are in Paris, and a lot of the big players are not attending. The French ones are, but a lot of German players are not there. However, a lot of the Chinese challengers are attending. So what does that mean? Does that mean that the Paris Motor Show and these kind of big shows are irrelevant now? Or does that mean that we have a glimpse into the future and these new players will be the mainliners? It's great to, to be back in Paris for the auto show, but in this, one of the most beautiful cities in the world, we decided to, to do something a little bit different. And we're here at the Musée Rodin, uh, which is known for fine art. And we think that this is the perfect backdrop to present this piece of technological art. So we're in Paris and it's good to be back. Of course, a lot of talk of recession, cost of living crisis, and the strong point of EV cars that are more expensive, that they were more expensive, but then they were cheaper to run. However, of course, now with the price of electricity, it's not the case anymore. So are you worried that all this, we kind of delay the switch to electric? I don't think so. We're coming off of a very strong Q3 in terms of sales. Our sales were up 21%, and in fact, the sale of battery electric vehicles were up 100% or more. So we can see momentum building, and it's products like, uh, like these that create that momentum. In fact, uh, we have an order backlog and, and, and really are trying to catch up with production on our battery electric vehicles as we speak. So we're looking at uh, finishing this uh, year strong, and then we will see what the economy does and, and how 2023 develops. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.